Sofia, Bulgaria might not be on your list of places to go to, but we're going to show you why it should be. We're Cindy and Eddie, and this is Squeeze the Day. We flew to Sofia from Bucharest, Romania. We don't always fly, but when we do, we try to get some of the best budget-friendly flights we can possibly find. Even though Sofia has a very small airport, it is affordable to fly here. So that's what we did, and we quickly realized upon arriving that this isn't really one of those places that has a lot of tourists. By the time we're done making this video, we're going to be wondering why. The first thing we do when we get here is go to our Airbnb to drop off our luggage, and to do that we took the local rail after we dropped off our luggage we really didn't have to travel far to see some of the amazing sites that were right next to us these are the first sites we have of bulgaria we got some exploring to do and it's not just because we were in a place that had access to a lot of historical stuff it's because Sofia has a lot of history here, and so much of it is still being uncovered. Just look for yourself what we found. If ancient history isn't your thing, don't worry. We've got so much more of Sofia to show you, including a lot of food, some downtown shopping, and a couple of extra reasons why you should make Sofia your next travel destination. On our way to get some breakfast, we are walking among some of ancient columns that are here in the city. I mean, we're amazed. This whole area is actually full of ancient relics that they're unearthing and preserving. This is incredible. It's obvious that this split, so this used to be going up, yeah. holding something up. You can see that they had parts of water and sewage that ran underneath the streets. And this is where we're at right now. We're walking underground. It's because they built up above all this. We have a map of the area we're in, all this underground stuff. We're here now. We just left that. And there's all that stuff that's underground. All that underground stuff was really amazing, but let's go above ground to see what else we can see. First, let's grab something to eat. Thank you. Thank you. These are like cheese breads, but apparently they're the best cheese breads you're gonna get. And I'm really excited to try these. The lack of good communication means we each got one. We only wanted one. We wanted one to share, but well, she just took a big one and split it up for two of us. It was only a between $2.50 and $3 for what we have right here, which is a good amount. Yes, and when they were trying to figure out what we wanted, because there was definitely a language issue, she said cheese and we said da. <laughs> That's all you needed to do. So they did know the word cheese, and that was very helpful. <laughs> this is how much we got, and they were actually kind enough to split it in two for us, but it came out as one big giant cheese roll. This is what it looks like. It's filled and they roll it up and it's still hot. Yeah, that's something that we're really pleased about. It's still warm. It was just taken out of the oven. Mm. This is a traditional breakfast, yeah. and it's not sweet. I expected it to be sweet. It's very Did savory. You? I was kind of expecting sweet too, but savory, cheesy, cheesy. bread is flaky. flaky and delicious. And Moist, just, yeah. very delicious. This is the way to go. This is a good breakfast. We're really happy with this. We're going to finish this up real quick, not real quick, but as quick as possible because these are pretty big. And then we're going to go and show you why this is one of those places that it's kind of like a hidden gem. Not a whole lot of people know about it. This is the place you're looking for if you can't read that because you don't speak Bulgarian. We'll leave that link in the description. Now that we have breakfast sorted, we're going to go and explore the city. There's so much to see here a lot of history for sure. We've already shown you just a small piece of it. To be fair, this is one of the oldest cities in Europe and we're excited to show you some of the history that they have here. The first place we're going to is the city park. This is the entrance to the city gardens. Well, this isn't the entrance to the city gardens. This is the entrance to the city gardens, but they have museums like this all over the city. If you want to know a little bit of history of this country, definitely come to those city. You can tell the citizens here in Sofia are really proud of their city.
is showing different ancient artifacts from around the world here in the city garden. The next thing we're gonna take a look at is the Church of St. Nicholas the Miracle Maker. This is a very photogenic spot because of the gold and green roofs. The way they look together is pretty amazing. The artistic work out here on the front of it is very unique. Very beautiful building. Right across the street, you have more statues on top of the building. This whole city is full of beautiful art. Just around the corner is the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Much larger, much grander, much more popular. Looks like there's a school field trip right here right now. See, Alexander Nevsky Cathedral is pretty impressive. But don't go too far, there's a lot in this area to see, including St. Sophia Basilica. A little bit of an eternal flame there. Next, we're going to take a little visit to Slaviakov Square. This is a very famous shopping district. There's a lot of really expensive stores in this area. So we're just gonna show you a couple of those and continue on. So this square is right around the corner or just up the street from where we just had our cheesy bread breakfast. So it kind of shows you how easy it is to walk around the city as well as how popular it is around here for various reasons. They have these really cute traditional restaurants all over the city. Some of them are a little bit more expensive than others, but the decorations in there are pretty amazing. So we wanted to show you a couple of those. Much of what we're gonna be filming is going to be shown along this walking street, basically right down the middle of the city. This particular part of the walking street starts at St. Nadalia's Church and goes all the way down to St. Nadalia Square, which is where we're gonna to go to continue exploring Sofia. Next, we're gonna stop at a place called Hans and Gretel. Bulgaria might not be known for their candy, but when something looks as amazing as this does, of course we're gonna stop. I think this is Hans, that's Gretel, and that is the witch. So let's go inside and check it out. Toppings. They have waffle cone makers right there. But we've talked about this in previous videos. These are chimney cakes. What they do is they make these cakes that look like this, and then they put ice cream inside. Good choices of candy here. If the kids are not entertained enough by the candy, they actually have a little house to go and visit with a roaring fire in the corner. What we really wanted to do is get one of these chimney cakes. The reason is because when we were in Hungary, we saw them everywhere and we wanted to get one and we kept putting it off because we were waiting for the right time. And then we didn't do it. But since they have them here as well, we'll get one of these, take it with us and we'll let you know how delicious they are. And then you can check out our Hungary video to see how much fun we had there as well. Well, there we go. We decided we wanted to go with a half and we got it without the ice cream, but you can get that filled with gelato. The reason is because we haven't eaten lunch yet and it's getting close to lunch. So we're not trying to spoil our lunch appetite, but we had to get this since we're here. So. Oh, it's really good. It's nicely toasted, warm, and cinnamony and delicious. Ooh. I think you're supposed to pull it off in these little slivers. 
we're gonna dig into that. We've come to the end of this little walkway. Beautiful mountains in the background. Park over here on the left, Metro stop. There's a National Palace of Culture. So we'll get a quick shot of that. We just left Vitosha Boulevard. That is the Palace of Culture right there. They have cultural events there. Unfortunately, I cannot get a good shot of this without my reflection, but I can get a good shot of this by walking up to it. Here you can see it in English and then Bulgarian. Along the way, we came across this beautiful church. I will not butcher the name. Why this is not listed on one of the places you really need to go check out on Google Maps, I have no idea. Before we go too far, we want to show you what the door looks like. It's kind of hidden, kind of like a hidden jam. That's the entrance. Don't be put off by its camouflage there. It's worth it. And we're going to make sure we leave a link in the description as part of all of our Sophia video content. We just wanted to let you know real quick, because of the music that's blasting over the speakers, everything after this point is going to be voiceover. Our server recommended that we get the stuffed eggplant, so we're gonna start off with that. We're also going to get these homemade meatballs because they sound amazing. And finally, we're gonna get this homemade cabbage dalmas, which sounds delicious. And we're gonna close off with some homemade ice cream. That was totally unbelievable, incredible. This is the spot you want to go to if you want to get that authentic, real, legitimate Bulgarian food. So delicious. I think I'm super stuffed right now. I might need some help getting home. We're so happily stuffed right now. Delicious. I don't know why he's got a crack in his head, but it's definitely intentional. Let us know in the comments below why. We were on our way basically to our home area because there's some more filming we want to do there. But we came across something that's quite interesting. They're actually, well, basically it looks like they're filming something in this area. We saw a lot of people wearing period type costumes. And so it has us thinking they might be filming a project for something here, or it might be just a lot of people that were on break from work i don't know we're gonna show you this is what they all look like because they are standing in a crowd right now it looks like it's part of this building it's an old historic building so all these people right here are in period style costumes and it looks like they're getting ready to film something just part of our entertainment for the day i guess we showed you this church just a little while ago and this is basically where they're all setting up for whatever production they're doing i don't know if it's a play or it's a movie, but everybody is definitely in costume. So if you know what's going on, let us know in the comments below. We would be really curious to find out for ourselves. I mean, the costumes are pretty unique. They also have a bunch of production company trucks over here. So we think that they're using part of this building as it. We did see some people out there as well. Finally, we have this building, which is right next to the park where we saw the giant head. We think they're using this building as part of a video or movie or something. This little park is the Central Baths Fountain Park. It's called that because they have this little water fountain here, but just over here, if you go past this area, across the street, they have all these fountains available that are actually providing fresh water for everybody in the city. Lots of people come here to fill up their water containers, just grab a quick sip of water if they're thirsty and walking around town, or if they just need to rinse their hands out. We've done it a couple of times. Water is pretty good. And one of the ancient Roman emperors actually came to this city specifically because of the water and the mineral content that was in the water. Basically, he really liked it. 
and it was supposed to be really healthy for him. This is where he came to get that really refreshing mineral water. He also brought Christianity to the area. It's actually hot. You can see this one is even steaming slightly. I didn't expect that. And it's not like too hot to drink. It's kind of like a, a good temperature, easy to drink. Yeah, just, just like yeah. a cup of tea that's been cooled down a little bit. That's why they come here. You see a lot of people out here with their containers and they fill up tons of containers to take home with them. Yep. So if you're here seeing that people fill up water, it's not because the water in their sink isn't drinkable, it's because the water here is so drinkable. So much better. But there are so many reasons to love this city. We just keep running into new ones every day between the history and the art, the culture, the food, the people. Yeah. yeah. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. And stay tuned as we continue to travel around the world, taking you along with us. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.